Good afternoon, everybody. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about Windows Movie Maker. I know a lot of you have been asking about this, and I just want to warn you really quickly that uh, Windows Movie Maker is going to be re uh, removed by Microsoft. They're not going to do any more development on it, so uh, we are going to be providing this quick tutorial because uh, I've been asked about it. But the idea today is I'm going to show you how to upload a video to YouTube using Windows Movie Maker. Uh, the first uh, couple things we got to do is we got to have a picture and we got to have an audio file such as an mp3 file. These are very simple steps. I am doing this on Windows 10. So this, these steps should apply to Windows 7 and Windows 8 as well. So let's get started. Let's get started. Um, essentially what we want to do is uh, I already have a picture and I already have an audio file. The idea here is that I want to show you how to do a quick, a quick, a very quick um, video file so you can save it to your hard drive and then upload it to YouTube. There's been a problem, an issue with Windows Movie Maker, and I think it is because they haven't been updating it, in that uploading to YouTube has been broken as of recent. And I think that Microsoft not updating the tool is uh, generating some issues with that. But today what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to save the MP4 file to your hard drive. And then you know that you can go to YouTube and upload your video. So let's get going here. Let's load up Windows Movie Maker. I'm going to do Control Escape here to bring up the Start menu. Escape, search box, edit, type in text. And I'm going to search for Movie Maker. F E Mozilla Firefox Desktop App Movie Maker Desktop App. There it is, Movie Maker. Let me hit Enter. Enter. Movie Maker, Movie Maker dialog. Restore your last Movie Maker. Okay, it's asking me if I want to restore the last Movie Maker file that I had, but I'm not going to do Add, that. Close button to active. Enter zero percent. All right, so what we have is I'm going to put my phone here on quiet, and we're going to keep going here. All right, so we have Windows Movie Maker loaded here. I'm going to do Alt to bring up the menu here. Ribbon tabs tab, home tab selected. All right, what I want to do is, the first thing you want to do is when you're creating a movie out of the, out of a movie, out of a image file and an MP3 file, you want to select the image file first. I bring I bring up the menu here with Alt, and I'm going to hit Tab. Movement tab, help button tab, upper ribbon tab, cut button tab, copy button on the veil tab, add toolbar, group, add videos and photos button, one of eight. There, add videos and photos button. Hit Enter here. Enter, leaving menus, leaving ribbons, add videos and photos dialog, file name, colon, edit combo, to set. Okay, I'm going to go to my hard drive here, which is my H drive. H colon backslash E D I A backslash enter H colon backslash media backslash A. And I'm going to shift tab into the list of folders here. Shift tab, explorer pane, folder layout pane, shell folder view, items view, multi select list, shift tab, blind tech channel. There it is, blind tech channel. Audio books, audible. Uh, blind tech channel enter shell well, I'm gonna go in there into blind tech channel that's a folder that I have add it 2016 I'm gonna go to 2016 which is the year enter shell folder getting echo link let me choose echo link here enter items view list box echo link initial download setup and configuration date echo enter explorer all right echo link initial download setup and configuration dot mp4 that's the mp4 file what i'm looking for here is an image file okay i'm going to look for it here now getting echo link getting all your data from your old if into a new one using voice up let's go in here and see if i can find an image in here enter shell fold using picture.png there it is picture file i'm going to any picture file is uh, is okay uh, what i suggest is if you're doing a tutorial on um, a particular technology i just take a snapshot of that picture of that technology and then po post it up so you can use it. I'm going to hit enter here. Enter. Timeline multi select list box picture dot PNG. Now that we have the picture, what we want to do is we want to add the, the audio file. And then in this case, I'm going to add an MP3 file. So let me hit the alt key here. Ribbon tab tab. And I'm going to hit tab until I hear. Tab. Leave it tab. Help button tab. Upper ribbon tab. Cut button tab. Copy button tab. Add toolbar. Group. Add videos and photo tab. Add music dot 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 add music. Add music. Press enter. Enter. Menu. Leaving menus. Audio micro. To tab. Free music archive. Tab. Vimeo. Alt. Tab. Add music. Dot dot dot. 
that. There it is. Uh, add music. Dot. 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 Enter. Leaving menus. Leaving ribbons. Add. Now I'm I'm gonna shift tab here so I can find the folder because I think I'm already in the blind tech channel folder. The shift tab. Not selected. Getting all your data from your old if into a new one using. Let's Explo go back to that new. one. Getting all your data. Enter. And I'm looking for the MP3 file. Getting all your data from your old if into a new one using voiceover.mp3. I'm just going to pick that one for now because I'm not going to be doing the upload, but I want to show you. Enter. Timeline multi select list box. Getting all your data from your old if into a new one using voiceover.mp3. So there you go. There's the MP3 file, and I'm going to hit up arrow so you can hear. About that the picture is here too. Picture.png. So we're not done yet because we have a picture and we have an audio file. What we want to do is we want to make this audio file so that the picture shows up all the way through the audio file. So the way you want to do it is by fitting it to the music. And I'm going to go Alt here. Ribbon tabs tab. I'm in the ribbon now. I'm going to hit right arrow until I hear project. Animation visual effect. Project tab selected, 4 of 7. Then I'm going to hit tab. Tab, leaving menus, leaving ribbons, minimize the ribbon but tab, help button, tab, upper ribbon, audio toolbar, group, audio tab, emphasize narration button, tab, emphasize video button, tab, emphasize music button, tab, no emphasis button, tab, fit to music button, 6 of 6. Fit to music. That's what you want. You want to hit enter there. Enter. Leaving menus, leaving ribbons, timeline multi-select list box picture dot PNG. Now we have an image file, and if we hit spacebar here, space F nine record properties device colon silence space. That's the MP three file, the original file that I had created for this particular tutorial. But as you can see, you can play the video here. Um, and now what we want to do is we want to save that to our hard drive so we can have the MP four file to be uploaded later. Now I'm going to show you something really quickly in the publish menu. There's a YouTube setting, but that's not been working so uh, as good. So if you want to try it, give it a try. Um, but that hasn't been working for me as of the last two months. And I'm still trying to figure out why. But uh, I'm just going to switch to another tool because I think that Microsoft, since they're retiring Movie Maker, uh, we're going to have to switch to another tool. But here's what I'm going to do. Alt F for the file menu. Menu, new project. And I'm going to hit down arrow until I hear. Open project, save project, save project, publish movie sub menu. Let me give you a quick preview on what the publish menu has and what you were able to do before. What YouTube checked. Oh, look at that. YouTube, you can publish it to YouTube. One drive checked, Facebook checked, Vimeo checked, Flickr checked, App groups checked, add a plug dash and dot dot, manage your services dot dot, YouTube checked. All right, so we went back to YouTube. So I'm going to hit left arrow here so that now I can show you how to save it to an MP4 file. Save movie sub menu. Alt recommended for this project checked. Alt followed by F comma M comma. Now there's a few options. Now I usually choose the recommended for this project, but I'm going to arrow through this here. For high dash definition display checked. Alt for computer checked. For email checked. Android phone left parent large right parent checked. Android phone left parent medium right parent checked. Apple iPhone checked. Feature phone left parent large right parent checked. Alt followed not feature phone feature phone. So fe app app Android for email for com for hot not checked. Recommended for this project checked. Oh. So I just arrowed back up to recommend it and I'm going to hit enter. Enter. Leaving menus. Save movie dialogue. File name colon edit combo to set the value. Now, file. I'm going to give it a file name, but I'm not going to do this right now. For those of you who want to save it at this point, you have the opportunity to give it a file name. I'm going to hit tab here. Shift tab. File name colon tab. Save as type colon combo box. MPEG dash four slash H dot two hundred sixty four video file left parent star dot MP four right parent. By the way, this version of Windows Movie Maker I used on both Windows ten, Windows eight, and uh, you should and Windows seven. So you should be able to save to MP four. So I'm going to look at the options here to see what you know different movie movie uh, ver, um, you know movie uh, file types we can choose. Ah, Windows Media Video File Left Parent Star dot WMV right MPEG dash four slash H dot two hundred sixty four video file left parent star dot MP four right. That's it, those are the only two options. So now that's MP4. By the way guys, this is it. This completes the tutorial on uploading MP4 files to actually creating MP4 files out of a picture and an MP3 file. 
an MP4 file is just a movie, and Windows Movie Maker allows you to create that. The way that I do it right now is I save it to my hard drive, I keep it there, and then I upload it to YouTube when I have a chance. All right, if you guys have any questions, any comments, any issues, any concerns, please, please, please feel free to comment down below. Also, send us an email if you have any suggestions for any future tutorials, and we would be more than glad to do that. Thank you very much. This has been Jose Tamayo for the Blind Tech Channel, and we're looking forward to providing many, many more tutorials.